What do we know about the vote? What does it leave? Where does it leave Portugal? Well, in terms of Portugal's like future in the short term, we're looking at a minority government, um, the centre right who came out marginally ahead of the socialists and uh, in terms of seat numbers have said they don't want to go into coalition with Chega. Um, so that means minority government, probably a degree of instability um, and um, questions about exactly how much momentum the, the new prime minister is going to have um, for his um, policy plans. In terms of the bigger picture, like as you rightly pointed out, the really interesting thing here is, is the arrival on the scene of Chega. They had 12 seats after the last election. They're going to have around 50 this time. Um, and that shows that Portugal is now part of this this broad trend that we're seeing in Germany and France and Italy and Spain of of um, far right parties coming in with 20, 25 percent of the vote, um, and that really does kind of change the complexion of European politics as we look towards the European Parliament elections in June. So change the complexity of European politics, but also change the complexity of perhaps the economic story as well. Ben, Portugal has really been targeting its debt and its ballooning debt that it hasn't really been able to tackle. I think a debt reduction of 100 per, almost 100 percent last year. Where does the new party stand on the economics? What does policy look like here? It's it's tricky. They, they've they've really had quite a a, a strong populist. Uh, platform um, within these different part, far right parties that we're seeing that there's very different sort of approaches. Maloney in Italy, who is the prime minister, obviously, um, has been pretty pragmatic. She throws a bit of red meat to her base with some um, uh, uncompromising comments on migration, particularly. But but when it comes to economic policy, she's proved to, proved herself to be really quite. Um, uh, orthodox in many ways. Chega is a different, a different, a different proposition because they're at a different stage in their evolution. They're not going to be in power, so they have none of the problems of actually um, dealing with the consequences of populist policy. So that's going to give them the freedom to be really um, kind of shouting from the sidelines and trying to okay. push um, the, um, the, 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 the 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 weak prime minister into more extreme positions.